We're going to create a really simple simulation as our first one. Now we know this is our first one because you see here the new button is active, but edit and play are inactive. There are no simulations. Now on the desktop version, as opposed to the mobile app, you see this little arrow at the bottom. And on the desktop version, this is how you activate back and menu, and you also can go to full screen and exit. So let's create a new simulation, and we're going to give it a name. Let's say um, Woodlawn Street. Now on the desktop, you'll see select photo from disk. On the phone, there'll be an option to take a photo using your camera or from the photo roll. So I'm going to say select photo from disk. I'm going to go find a picture. And in a moment, it's going to say processing photo. And we're here at the picture we selected. Now the interface is very basic. What we have here is new element for adding different elements, play sim for testing the simulation, and done when we're finished editing for the moment. Also notice we have a menu over here. If we click on it, we get that menu. And we see a bunch of things like change the background picture, reset the elements if one's selected, rename the elements, things like that. Now on the desktop, again, if we wanted to go back to the previous screen, we could just use the back key over there. Let's add in an element. Let's say we're going to find some smoke. Let's take a turbulent pattern. When I select the pattern, you see the smoke appears, a little fanfare. And I click and now drag. Now I'm using on the computer here the mouse, but of course on a phone you could be using your finger. And when, it's at, when the element is actually active, you see it's animating. So I'm going to move this around. Now you notice here this yellow circle. That means that we are right now in that mode. This mode here is the size, scale, and position. So if I move this around here, I'm moving it. I can use this arrow, this circular arrow, to rotate it. And I can use the bottom slider here to make it larger or smaller. So if I just sort of put that coming out of the window, now when I'm done, if I hit done, now I'm back and I can actually go and add another element. So let me say now add a little bit of fire. I'm going to click on fire, bring some basic fire here. I'm going to click and drag. Once I click and drag on it, you'll notice also these white lines help you line things up. I'm going to lower this down a bit, put this at the window. Now when I want to change characteristics like brightness or opacity or actually add some delay, I use the pencil tool over here. If I click on pencil, you'll see now it lets me choose different options. And each of the different elements has a set of options. So if I wanted to make this flame less opaque, I could choose opacity and now go and make the opacity less. Now again, since it's selected, then it is, has these lines and also it's animated. Now if you notice on the left hand side here there says something that says order and that means the visual order. So when I add an element it adds it to the closest to me, the top of the order. So if I wanted to actually drop this beneath the smoke I could click the order and now it's happening beneath the smoke and I can do that um, progressively. So now when I'm at this stage here I'm going to hit done and if I'm ready to just play my sim I can say play it and there I go. Now on the desktop version I also can use the left arrow key to go back. So I'm going to just instead of either just going here and saying back or I can press the left arrow key. Now one thing that can be tricky is if I want to select something, let's say like the black, the turbulent smoke, I want to make sure not to select over the fire because if I select the fire now all I can do is hit the fire. So I have to select in an area that doesn't have the fire. And that's essentially the way you create a first simulation. Very basic, but it can be very effective.